हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री ऑफ आवर सब्जेक्ट कैट कैम ऑटोमेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री द टाइटल इज ट्रेस एंड डिफ्लेक्शन एनालिसिस ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल ट्रस्ट यूजिंग फाइनाइट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू ऑब्जर्व द ट्रस्ट मॉडल अंडर डिफरेंट बाउंड्री एंड लोडिंग कंडीशन and the more learning objectives you can discuss you can learn different analysis steps as well as how to solve this numerical uh, of trust element using nc software you can see this figure this figure explain the locations of each and every point the coordinates of each and every key point in the trust model then the fixed support applied at key point 1 and roller support applied at key point 4 and point loads applied on the upper key points in the truss model okay so we'll solve this experiment we'll solve this numerical using nc software okay. as similar to experiment number 2 the instruction manual is given for this experiment also step by step you can follow this instruction manual and you can perform this experiment on the nc software so you can see this uh, geometric geometry of this model or truss model is created and after meshing and applying boundary condition how it look uh, looks like and we have deformation plot stress plot for each element deformation plot or the behavior of the truss model we can observe by using contour plot then you can list out the values of each and every node and element in the list table command so we'll move directly to the software and we'll perform this experiment using ansys so this is ansys apdl window okay. for the same steps we need to follow as we perform in experiment number 2 so one by one we will go through this each and every step for each and every command so click on preferences then go to structural we will set structural environment for this problem okay then go to pre processor in pre processor uh, we have to assign element type first then metal properties then cross sectional area then to create model of truss element then do the meshing on that after geometry then apply boundary condition and loads okay, so we will select element type in pre processor so go to add element then add again we have the tree of this element is given or in this library we will select the link element to solve this truss problem in link element we will select the first type of element 3d finite strain 180 okay so this will be added in the library for this link element we have to assign the cross sectional area so go to sections then click on link okay. for link we will add a section id will give section id 1 for this link element click on okay then this window will appear for this window you can assign the section name as a beam or link okay or you can put it blank also so under the section data we have link area need to be assigned so we link area is given 50 square mm i 50 square mm in this window and then click on okay 
so this element type is assigned cross section area assigned to element type then we'll move towards material properties okay. so go to material properties material models and the same procedure we have to follow in structural we have to select elastic and isotropic command for in isotropic window we have to assign these two material properties hanks modulus and poisson's ratio okay the values are given in the problem statement 2.1 into 10 is to 5 and 0.3 okay then close this window so after material properties were finished we will create this model using key points and lines okay go to modeling create key points using given coordinates okay. so we have seven key points need to be created by using xy coordinates okay so we'll create this coordinates one by one so key point number 1 having coordinate 0 0 apply then key point number 2 having coordinates 1000 y0 apply similarly for 3 2000 0 For four, three thousand zero. Apply key point number five, which is at the upper location. We have x coordinate five hundred and y coordinate eight hundred eighty. And then apply and click on for key point number six and seven. For key point number seven, we have to click on OK instead of apply okay if you click on apply and okay then duplicate point will be created so at the last point you need to always click on okay button okay so this key points are created then we will join this key points using line command straight line then we will join this key points to each other by selecting this each and every key point and just create a line so this geometry of truss model is created what are the model uh, what are we are looking in the on the screen of the software this is the geometry of the truss model now we need to mesh this geometry so go to meshing command we have to assign or we have to define the size of the element in manual size select all lines so the second option which is number of element division will give value of 1 that means for each line one element will be created if there are eight lines eight element will be created if there are nine lines nine elements will be created so the element size is defined now we'll mesh these lines okay by selecting all the lines okay so this uh, meshing for all the lines will be finish okay now go to applying loads and boundary condition so initially we will apply the boundary condition or fix support for the given key points okay so in model in geometry the structural displacement are applied at key point 1 select key point 1 click on okay all degrees of freedom for this node is fixed at key point 4 we have roller support so we will select key point 4 click on okay here we need to select ui ui means y degree of freedom for this key point is constant therefore we select ui and click on okay now we have finished with the boundary condition now we will apply the forces at three key points okay apply force on key points now we have 2000 newton load applied at key point number 5 and 7 so we'll select these two key points 
click on ok we select fy because loads are applied in y direction minus 2000 newton it is downward then at the middle key point the load value is minus 2500 newton okay so now we have finished with the pre-processing step now come to the second stage of this analysis that is solution you know click on solve button current load step and solution is done this message will appear okay. so we have finished with our calculations now we will see the behavior of component for the given boundary condition and loads okay, close this window go to general post processor then plot results initially we will see the deformed and undeformed shape for this model for the given loads and boundary condition you can see this white and blue border of the model so white border indicates the original position of the truss model and blue color indicates the deflected position of the truss model okay now we'll see the contour of this uh, truss element okay. go to degree of freedom solution we'll observe the displacement values at each and every node for this truss model click on ok you can see the maximum deflection and minimum deflection values at particular nodes so maximum deflection will be at the middle node its value is 1.41 mm minimum value that is 0 at key point or node number 1 because node 1 is fixed applied with the fixed support okay you can see the behavior of other nodes and other elements how the deflection values are changed uh, with its position red color indicates the maximum value 